right, good morning, Wintergreen Babies. Today we're gonna be talking about physical and chemical changes. All right, we're gonna start with physical, all right? Physical changes are changes that where no new substance is formed. Go ahead and make yourself a little bullet point right there. And you're gonna say no, first, and then you're gonna get a pen that actually works. All right, no new substance is formed. Write that down. All right. The matter just looks different now, okay? No new substance is formed. All right, so a lot of times when we're talking about a physical change, a lot of times they're gonna be talking about water. So draw yourself an ice cube. All right, when ice is heated, it then turns into water. So this is liquid water. And then when it is further heated, that ice turns into liquid water, then as it is heated more, it turns into water vapor. Does that make sense? All right. And so all this is, water vapor is a gas. So this went from a solid, which is ice, to a liquid, which is water, to a gas, which is water vapor. This is a change in the state of matter. So the states are solids, liquids, and gases, right? Oh goodness, I got to pause my recording. All right, so this is a change in the state of matter. The three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas, all right? No new substance was formed. It's all still just water. Hey, Yazzie, if I freeze water vapor, if I get it cold enough, is it gonna turn back into ice? You sure? Yes, it will. Water can go back to being ice if you apply coldness to it. Liquid can go back to ice if you put it in the freezer. This can go around and around and around and around because no new substance is formed. It's all H2O. All of this is H2O. It is a, just a change in the state of matter, all right? So now we're gonna do some other examples that are not water, okay? We are going to talk about, if you have a crayon, here is a crayon. Draw the little thing on it like that. Draw this little thing on it like this. Tori, if I put my crayons in a hot car, what is gonna happen? Very good, it's gonna melt. Okay, so crayon in a hot car, when you apply heat to it, it's going to melt. But it's still a crayon. Could I put it in a crayon mold and turn it and cool it off and turn it back into a crayon? Yes. yes. So a crayon melting is a physical change. It's nothing new. It's just a melted crayon now, right? Does that make sense, Brennan? Same thing with butter. If I melt butter, is it still butter? Yes. yes. Melted butter is still butter. Draw yourself a stick of butter. Here's a stick of butter, just like this. Draw another stick, of, draw the little rectangle here. Here's a stick of butter. If I melt it and it turns into melted butter, it's still just butter. It's just melted butter now. That's all it is, just melted butter. So butter turns into melted butter. Same mess. All right, so your key words for physical changes. Let's write down our key words. I'm gonna put them right down here. Key words for physical changes are melting. Write that down and put a little swirl around it. Another key word is breaking. If you break a stick in half, is it still a stick? 
Yep, now it's just a stick in two pieces. Another one for chemical, uh, for physical changes is chop. If you chop something up, if I chop up a carrot, it's just little baby pieces of carrot. Shred, if I shred paper, it's still just paper. And then this is the one that gets children, boiling. If I boil something, all I'm doing is changing it from a liquid to a gas. I am not changing its chemical makeup. Yes, Yazi. Uh, you cannot put shredded paper back, but it is just, it is just tiny pieces of paper, okay? All right, I want to draw some pictures. All right, draw yourself a log and have it be broken in half. There's your broken log. And Charlie's, I'll give you copies of these. This is a broken log. It's still a log. It's just two pieces of it, okay? Uh, if you have a television, draw a television and got the little antennas on the top here. If you have a television and the screen breaks, guess what it is? It's still a TV. It's a broken TV. The TV is broken, but it's still a TV. If you crush up a Sprite can, so take a can of soda, draw one side, the other side, and then have it look like that, okay? A crushed can is still a can. All of these are physical changes, okay? No new substance was formed. Water stays water, logs stay log, crayons stay crayons, crushed cans stay cans. Nothing has changed, okay? They just look different, okay? So physical change no new substance is formed, water to liquid to gas, it's just a change in the state of matter. So what are your key words? Melting, breaking, chopping, shredding, and boiling. And then you've got some examples there. All right, I'm gonna pause this for a second to let you guys finish writing down the notes back here and then we're gonna move on to chemical. All right, so now we're talking about chemical changes. Let's write down the definition first, all right. In a chemical change, you have a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction where a new substance is formed. Now that is very important, okay? It cannot, I'm writing this in bold letters, cannot be put back. Cannot be put back. Guys, can you unexplode a firework? No. Can you? unbake a cake. Can I take a cake and turn it back into eggs and sugar? No, no it's done. It got cooked. Um, can I take um, fireworks? No, can I, if I eat an apple, when it comes out of my booty is poop, can I turn it back into an apple? No. no, thanks be to Jesus, we can't put it back. Ew, nasty, okay? Uh, Cedriana, when I burn a log, can I ever turn it back into a log? No, I can't. Okay, so chemical changes cannot be put back like they were. Now, you can refreeze ice, right? You can unmelt a crayon, but these changes cannot be undone. All right, so you're going to do a vocabulary bubble. Put a vocabulary bubble here, and I'm going to give you the key words. First one is spoiling. Not like spoiling a kid, like spoiling food. If you have a, if you have a, a nasty um, apple and you leave it, or if, if you leave milk out and it spoils, can you ever put it back to being regular milk? No. Spoiling is a chemical change. 
burning. Once it's burned, it's burned forever. You can't put it back. Digesting. Thank goodness you can't put your digested food back. Next one. If you cook something, you cannot put it back. Now, that is not the same thing as heating something up. We're talking about cooking something. So if I take broccoli and I mix it with butter and salt to make like a broccoli casserole, I can't ever turn it back into broccoli and into salt. Does that make sense? I can't pull those ingredients out. Next one, baking. If you've got a cake, you can't undo a cake. You can't turn the egg, sugar, and flour back into egg, sugar, and flour once they're made into a cake. Rotting. If you have an animal that dies on the sidewalk, once it starts to rot, you can't put it back. Oh, and the last one, rusting. Rusting is a chemical change. Once your bike rusts, you can't undo that. Rust is there forever. Yes, Yazi. You can scrape off the rust, but is it still rust? Yep, when it falls to the ground, it's still rust. All right, let's draw some pictures. Are you ready? Frying pan. Frying pan. Inside the frying pan, I want you to put an egg. Here is the egg. I'm gonna put a yolk on it. Before I put it in the pan, it looks like this, didn't it? Look like an egg. I put the egg, cracked it in the pan, cooked it with some butter. It will never go back to being that egg. Does that make sense? Write that down. An egg cooking can never be undone. Anything cooking can't be undone. All right, next one. I want you to draw a firecracker. This is a firecracker. Once you shoot it into the air, once you shoot it into the air, it and you set it on fire, it can never be undone. All right, next one, here is a nail. Here's the top of the nail. And let's say that the nail rusted. You've got, so if you've got a nail rusting, that is a chemical change. It cannot be undone. These are fireworks. So if you have an explosion, explosions, usually show, well, explosions always show chemical change. All right, two more. If you burn something, so now take two logs, take two logs, and this time don't chop them, burn them. And when you burn two logs, they definitely that is a chemical change because what do they turn into? Uh, what do they turn into, Jayla? Uh -huh. Very good. Once they all melt down or cook or burn down, they're gonna be ash. So wood burning turns into, turns into ash. Can't undo it either. You can never put it back. All right, don't laugh at this drawing. This is you, <laughs> this is your mouth, this is your esophagus, this is your stomach, these are your intestines, okay? What is that process called? Digestion, very good, digestion. That cannot be undone, thank the goodness. So here, give yourself some eyeballs, look there. Cannot be undone. And the last one is I'm going to draw a cupcake. Okay, I want you to understand that baking, baking is a chemical reaction. You mix all that stuff together, put it in the oven, and it creates a whole new substance. So you take egg, sugar, flour, put it all together, and it turns into a cake which cannot be undone. All right, so chemical changes.
It is a chemical reaction where a new substance is formed, cannot be put back. Spoiling, cooking, baking, rotting, rusting, digesting, burning. Got egg cooking, firework explosions, a nail rusting, anything burning is definitely chemical, baking and digestion. Um, last one, write down, uh, draw an apple. Ooh, that is the ugliest apple I have ever drawn. Draw an apple and then put like green moldy stuff on it. That is spoiling. When that happens, it's a chemical reaction and it can never be put back. All right, love you guys. Bye.